It's a medical story that's so rare and so extreme that many doctors are still baffled by it. And it all started out with some relatively minor flu-like symptoms. A word of warning, some of the images you're about to see are disturbing. Christmas Day, we we're gonna go to a family dinner. Everything happened so fast. It's just, it's amazing that I'm here. I've been married seven years and we have three kids. Kevin's an amazing person, energetic, outgoing, water skied every chance he could get. It was Christmas Day 2016. I thought I had a cold that day, feeling achy and my throat was getting a little bit sore. The next day after Christmas, I still felt terrible. I had appendicitis before and that's what the pain felt like. I went to urgent care. They ran the flu test and they ran strep test. Those both came back negative. The next morning I felt worse and we went to the emergency room. I just knew that this wasn't good. Something was wrong. I just couldn't stand up. He was puking and fever was high. So sick and in so much pain, just couldn't even walk. And his stomach kept getting larger and harder. All of a sudden, all these nurses and doctors, his body was literally shutting down. I just remember laying in the bed in agony. My wife sitting next to me telling me that my hands and feet don't look the same, but she loves me no matter what. She was just prepping me for what was to come. They did emergency exploratory surgery. The doctors found a liter and a half of pus in my abdomen. They found that strep had gone from my throat to my stomach. I'd gone through septic shock. And this is what happened to my hands and my feet because of that. It's three months later. I've had two amputations, two more to go. My right hand, all of my fingers got removed. My left hand is black all the way down to my wrist. They're going to totally take this hand completely off. My right foot recently amputated. My left foot, there's a high probability that it will be eliminated. I can feel the top of my foot, but I can't feel anything on the bottom. There's really not a lot I can do on my own. My wife has to at least assist me brushing your teeth, getting my clothes out, the wheelchair. It's not motorized. She literally has to be a part of every part of my life. She does not complain and just loves me. My kids, they want to come and help change daddy's dressings. Good job. All right, now we got to go daddy's room, daddy's toes. It's probably the worst moment of my life. Thankfully, you know, he's still here. It's mind-blowing to think that I'm going to lose my hands, my feet, all from strep throat. It doesn't even make any sense. It's crazy. In the Doctors Daytime Exclusive, join us via Skype from their home in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Please welcome Kevin and Julie to our show. And you know, it's it's remarkable, Kevin, to see you with the smile on your face after everything you've gone through. I, I number one am just so sorry you've had to go through this, but also I want to applaud you and Julie and your family for the resilience that you've shown through all this. Yeah, amazing. How, how are you doing now, medically speaking? I'm doing pretty good. Just this week, I had a surgery where they put a wound back on it. And um, that's been a little painful, uh, but that's hopefully to save the rest of my foot. And for people watching, understand that there are only one, Kevin is one of two cases ever reported in men of strep traveling down into the stomach, leading to, this is just unheard of. Are you at a point now though, as far as your body, where you feel like you're getting stronger? Yeah, I feel pretty good. I'm able to do some like bad exercises and that kind of stuff. I, I have strength within, I don't know why. I don't feel weak as a person by any means. So, I mean, these surgeries are kind of, I mean, they're taking a toll, don't get me wrong, but I, I feel strong, I feel like I can handle it. Um, I definitely want to overcome this, and, and I don't want to just lay around in bed, so I definitely, I'm definitely i a pusher, so I, I, like to, I like to get through the surgery and get on to the next one. Well, and Julie, I have to say, one of the things I love about you is that instead of focusing on what Kevin has lost, you've chosen to focus on the fact that you still have your husband, but obviously you all are going through a lot of changes. Fair to say? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Fair to absolutely. say. And, and, and yeah. yet... Julie, I, I keep seeing this positive energy coming from you. Are you where does that come from? Um, I think we just had a tremendous amount of support. Um, our church has been amazing. Our family and friends have been amazing. The care from the doctors has been amazing. I mean, I think we just have this strong network of support, and we're just so thankful that he's here. And he was at the point that God could have taken him, and he didn't. And I just have it in.